In February 1982, National Geographic published a cover story titled Egypt's Desert of Promise. The cover image showed a camel train walking in front of the pyramids of Giza. The image was taken by Gordon Gayen, a reputed photographer who started working for National Geographic in 1968 as a freelancer, and later joined the staff in 1972. Upon the publication of the magazine in early 1982, it was discovered that the image had actually been digitally altered by the National Geographic's photo editors. The original image was a horizontal landscape shot, but the editor squeezed the left pyramid more towards the right to make it fit the vertical format. Not only was Gordon not credited for his work, but the image itself was displayed in the magazine without disclosing any information about the alterations. He'd later find out about it after the magazine had already been published, and by that time, people were already starting to question the integrity of Nat Geo's dedication to authentic photojournalism. He felt that the alteration was a betrayal of his trust and that it had compromised the integrity of his work. Later that year, he left National Geographic after one last contribution in March and co-founded a photo agency by the name of Prism Photography. Nat Geo defended their actions, stating that it was necessary to alter the image to fit the magazine's vertical orientation. They claimed that it was not a falsification, but merely the establishment of a new point of view. The altered image caused a controversy among National Geographic readers and photographers. Some people felt that the magazine had betrayed its reputation for accuracy by editing the image. Others argued that the alteration was necessary to make the image fit, and that it did not significantly change the overall meaning of that image. Nat Geo initially denied all the allegations regarding the photo, but they eventually admitted to it after the reader provided them with evidence. The magazine's editor-in-chief, Gilbert Grovner, apologized for the deception and also promised to never alter an image again without the photographer's consent. Gain was awarded $1,500 in damage by a jury, but he said that the money could not replace the loss of his reputation. Two years later though, on October 19th, 1984, while taking aerial photographs in the Virgin Islands for a client, Gordon was killed in a helicopter crash, along with his assistant Joseph Capitelli and the pilot. The controversy led to a new set of guidelines for photo manipulation at National Geographic. The guidelines state that the image can only be altered to correct technical flaws or to improve clarity, and that any alteration must be disclosed to the reader. It was a turning point for National Geographic and for the photojournalism industry as a whole. It raised awareness for the issues of photo manipulation and led to a new emphasis on transparency and disclosure. The controversy also led to a broader discussion about the ethics of manipulating photos in the media. Some people believe that any editing done to a photo is unethical, while others believe that it is acceptable as long as it's disclosed to the reader. Now, National Geographic was wrong to alter the photo, but Gain is also not without blame here. According to sources, he did pay the men on camel to ride back and forth in front of the pyramid, suggesting that he was not interested in capturing an accurate representation of that scene. Instead, he was more concerned with creating a visually appealing image. This raises the question of whether or not any photo can be truly considered objective. Even if a photo is not digitally altered, the photographer can still manipulate the scene by choosing what to include and what not to.